that originally when the when the the studies came out that yeah this is a good way to help quit smoking everybody kind of jumped on that train and it turns out yeah it really doesn't all you're doing is hooking young people onto nicotine um, and so now uh, you know we're looking at these e-cigarettes again and or we're looking at e-cigarettes and putting bans on them and so what's the next step what are they going to go to next are they going to go to cigarettes or are they uh, going to continue doing the uh, doing the e-cigarettes so there's 7,000 chemicals in a tobacco in a cigarette and 69 of them cause cancer um, when when it's been lit and so in the e-cigarettes I mean you're finding some of the same stuff I and mean, you are finding high, finding higher concentrations of nicotine uh, in them but then there's also various uh, toxic metals from the heating of the coils um, there's uh, vitamin E in the in the flavorings there's this meta or this uh, chemical called diacetyl, which we've known has caused a lung disease before in the past, propylene glycol, vegetable oils, uh, so all sorts of various uh, chemicals. I was recently awarded a K01, it's a career development um, grant, and it's from the National Heart, Lung, and Blood Institute. And so what that does is it um, allows me to conduct five years worth of research examining, for my study, um, the respiratory effects of e-cigarettes. Um, so it's about a million dollar grant that will, um, like I said, be conducted over the uh, next five years. So we're actually recruiting youth and young adults so ages 15 to 21 who are current users. And so I'm specifically looking at the health effects of e-cigarettes, right? Okay. Because we want to make sure that, you know, related to the youth epidemic of e-cigarettes, right? A lot of youth are using this products. We don't really know what the effects are on them on the respiratory system. Um, and so the goal of this product or this project study period is to really determine um, some foundational evidence of the respiratory effects related to e-cigarette use. Um, what we see is that 15 to 17 is actually one of the highest periods of, of youth experimentation with e-cigarettes, right? And so if we really want to understand, you know, what products these kids are using, what the health effects could potentially be of using these products, um, we really want to target the people who are using it. Um, and so that's why I chose that age range. But then also, too, thinking about it from a from a perspective of, you know, this is technically like an illicit behavior, you're under 18, um, so what can we do as like public health officials to better, better regulate this product?